Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I record my audio casts, I am promoting a portfolio. Most industries have a concept of a portfolio. That portfolio might be something in a financial marketplace. That portfolio might be something in a graphic designer's work. That portfolio might be in a videographer's capabilities. That portfolio might be in a reporter's stories. That portfolio might be what we used to call clippings of people who wrote articles for a lot of different publications. A portfolio in life is what a person has done in the past. It is rarely the best of their work because we are always serving a client with our work. And a client decides what we do and don't complete. You see, I might present the best ideas of my life to someone, but if they're not comfortable with my ideas, they may not want it done exactly that way. They may need to have it tweaked. I've had people come back at me later for additional changes, expecting it to be done for free. And the answer, of course, is no, because my time, just like their time, is valuable. But people today do not value time the way that they should. People today often interfere with other people's time. They descend upon them. They want to have story time with them. Not at all. They want to make moments in time. Not at all. They want to ruin time. They want to steal time or they want to literally get rid of time. And the truth is that in my lifetime, one person had a lot of my time. And now, openly, that person is trying to play with time. They don't have to do this now. I've done enough. I'm finished. I'm through. Really? How will God feel about you with your attitudes about life? An attitude about life is what a person puts, puts forward towards other people in their realm. Their spheres of influence are the people that are closest to them. Are they helping you to raise yourself up to a higher level and a higher ground, or are they helping you literally to stay the same, to stay intact in your soul and to never get around? What I mean is that we are always challenged to live, to breathe, and to grow. The greatest gift that God gives us in our lifetime, the Lord Odin above all, has the ability as a mother and father God to give us the lessons we need most of all. There are many people who don't want to take their licks, meaning they don't want to take their rebuke from God. They don't want to admit their sin. They don't want to do it because it causes them not to grin. And openly, when I give these little rhymes, I'm trying to have you remember these concepts in time because you'll listen, you'll say, oh, that was pretty good, or oh, that was crap, or that was shit, but openly you won't do it. You won't learn from your lessons. You won't understand what God has been saying to you, and you'll go out, you'll do something, and you'll regret it. People who live around other people are usually trying to be included in that person's life. But if the person says no to this, then you're not included in their life. If a person has to say no to you because they have to protect your motherfucking life by saying no to you, it is their right to do that. But there are people who like to play in and out of people's lives and then walk away saying, talk to the hand, in such an immature way that God is pissed off. And that is what we have in our time of COVID. We have a pandemic. We have an epidemic that we probably didn't need to have. But we have it now because too many people have forgotten who God is today. They have forgotten how precious life is. They have forgotten how precious relationships are. They have forgotten how to evaluate what is and isn't a lifetime relationship. Some people produce intimate moments in seconds because they just want it and they need it and they have to have it for their own emotional, psychological, or intellectual well-being. The problem is they really connect with the spiritual level of what that means to other people who are participating or waiting or feeling them every day. I might feel the woman that I love literally every day. I might feel it in my soul. I might feel it in my being. I might feel it to the point that I might be crying one moment and laughing the next over what I think someone in her family might say. But the truth is, in my lifetime, we can't bring time back. We can't do that is somewhat true. But all we can do is move forward for you. If a man is trying to move forward, but everyone around him in his community are policing him and trying to interfere with that and trying to produce a lie every year, then those people will literally go to hell. People don't really think about the concept of the afterlife is something I talk about, maybe not so well. 
But when I'm talking about these things, I'm saying to you in sort of a plain way that if you don't understand God's way, you may not make it to the day of seeing Him in heaven. You see, heaven doesn't wait for you. Heaven is openly open to you until you make a monkey of you in a way that doesn't make sense to the man upstairs. When I'm talking about these things, I'm not trying to give you anything and I'm not doing anything to make you feel as if you're in the midst of a glare. But the truth is how you evaluate your life may not be how other people assess what they see of you and how you behave. You see, it really doesn't matter what other people think of you today. What matters though is who you are with, who you love, who you stay with, who you play with, and who you lay with in any order in which you choose. But when you violate God's plan for your life, when you are disobedient to the Lord's house most high, when God has given you a command to go today and say bye-bye to certain people, to choose the right people for your life, but you won't do it out of vanity, out of vice, and out of violence in your soul, what do you think Mother God is going to say to you at the end of the day? What do you say to Jesus Christ when he doesn't meet you at the play? And what I'm talking about is when you're busy trying to get interested or get other people interested in you, was Christ in you in those moments at all or when you said it was through? When you said it was through, do you know how many hearts you ripped out? When you said it was through, did you understand what you did to a person's life? When you said, I'm done with this, did you really ask God about it? Or did you ask a hundred human beings who just wanted to play with you and say, go ahead, be done with that because I want you today. The problem of women today is their vanity. Their vanity and their vice. A vain woman wants to have a husband want, but wants other people in the room to still want her. And a vain woman is a risk to a man who really deeply loves her because she might marry that man who deeply loves her, but she'll still want to play with all the men around him. And that is an unfortunate event. The vice that they have is not necessarily their beauty. The vice that they have is not their duty. Their vice that they have is a desire for power that they never find with the men of the hour. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth of the Lord's house. And the Lord's house plans experiences, plans rebuke, plans life lessons, and then plans for you the love of your lifetime. And the love of your lifetime is not the man that makes you feel powerful in that moment of time. The love of your lifetime is the one that God says, This man here loves you like me, loves you like Jesus, loves you unconditionally. That man there just likes to play with you. He views you as a trophy, that he's won you away from someone who really worked to earn you. There's a difference in a man, for sure. But every man is not created equal in the Lord's house. So when you're choosing your husband, when you're choosing your boyfriend, when you're choosing your male friends, you better be thinking about what Jesus Christ thinks of them. If they never step foot in a Christian house, if they never step foot in a temple of God, if they never step foot in the prayer altars before their day, then my guess is they're not for you in any way.